Hey everybody, more than the Muddy Reviews. Uh, today, we're checking out a 3X magnifier from Matrix. So, I am going to quickly tell you guys a real fast C story. Uh, just kind of put something in perspective on my feelings on this thing. So if you're not even remotely interested in hearing that, and you don't give two shits, and you're like, Muddy, shut the fuck up. Well, you can go ahead and just fast forward to about the one minute mark, maybe maybe two minute mark, and that'll just jump right into the review. Um, and if you jump to that point, I've already started the review, just back up a few seconds. But anyway, quick C story. So, it's pertinent to the review, I promise, but anyway, quick C story. So, back about 06, 07 time frame, I bought my first Airsoft magnifier ever. I believe it was actually made from Matrix. I got it off ebayband.com. I got it. It was for like an EOTech. Um... And it was horrible. It didn't work. I couldn't get the thing to work right. Uh, it wouldn't fit in the mount. It was not a true 30 millimeter tube. Uh, the, the side flipping mount didn't work right. Um, it was just a nightmare. And then one of the biggest issues was uh, the actual adjustment points, left, right, up, down, they wouldn't work. You couldn't get it to actually zero, like not zero, but it's zero, yeah. Like up, down, left, right. You couldn't get it to like focus in and do what it needs to do. So no matter what you did, the EOTex dot would be somewhere other than where it needed to be in your magnifier. I tried shimming the damn thing, taping it, whatever, and I always had to just kind of like push on it to keep it, like you couldn't get it to work right. It was a piece of shit. Turned me off for magnifiers forever. I'm, I'm literally forever, until just now. I did not fuck with Airsoft magnifiers because of that one experience. And I finally picked up this magnifier from Matrix for my current... Ukrainian soft inspired MCX build and I've been very pleasantly surprised and I have been like newfound reacquired back into the world of magnifiers and I'm like okay cool I'm about it so this like I said at the beginning this is from Matrix um, they've obviously stepped their game up this is a three power aim point style magnifier. Uh, it is inside currently a GNP twist mount. I've already reviewed this. I'll have a link in the description below. Um, go ahead and click on that description if you want to know where this about this guy here. I've already reviewed it. It's on the channel. Why I like this magnifier. So you got this nice little cap. That's not why though. This magnifier works. And what I mean by that is left, right, up, down. Oh, it's up, down, left, right. It works. I was able to put it on my toy gun and I was able to put the red dot on there. Um, the red dot in question has not been reviewed yet. So sorry, you might see it in the review here, but it's a coming review. Um, it actually was able to dial in and line the dot up and it did it very easily with little to no issue. Um, I'll take this cap off. I'm not going to do both caps, guys. Uh, you'll have to do do some homework on your own when you buy one of these um, what the left and right is I can't remember if it's whatever but uh, up is counterclockwise down is clockwise something similar on this side but it's easy to adjust you use like a multi-tool or a Gerber or in my case I used the back end of a fork that was in the kitchen area when I did it um, my, my son helped me do it but we just lined it up and we picked a point on a picture Actually, I wrote, funny, we took a picture of him when he was a kid. We'd, we'd put a dead center of his chest, and we just played with the dot till it lined up. And it was great because it worked. You could just sit there and watch the dot moving around in this guy here until it, it lined up. World's a difference from the past. Uh, the construction is nice. Uh, the rubber coating doesn't feel gross like the old one I had, where this stuff just started getting like... Uh, piley, I guess is the best description, where you just rub your finger across it. It started getting gooey and tacky. Uh, it doesn't do that. It just feels like a nice rubber coating. It feels protective. Um, this back focal lens point here, you can adjust it and turn it, and it feels good, and it will work, uh, depending on your eye relief. And then, um, I think that's how that works. Uh, don't quote me. I haven't fucked with it too much. But it does adjust and does move, as you can see. Twist, twist. Um, the tube is a true 30 millimeter tube which I think is pretty great. Unlike my prior experience with one of these things where I had to use tape and all this other bullshit to shim it to get it in the 30 millimeter tube. The mount it came with, hold on, so I'm sorry, I gotta rant for a second. The mount that it came with was 30 millimeter proper. The damn 
magnifier wasn't. I had to use like electrical tape and other bullshit like aluminum to try to shim the fucker to fit. I, tell When I tell you it turned me off, I wasn't kidding, guys. Anyway, uh, this fits perfectly in this GMP mount. It, I mean, it fits wonderful. Look at that. It's a great fit. It's just, it's very, very flush, very stable. There's no shifting, no shit. You can't like spin it around in the mount. I mean, I'm trying. It's not moving. It's good. It's solid. And it works. And that's the best part. Uh, it does have a nice little rubberized cap to kind of protect the back of the lens when you're not using it. That is nice. It would be cool if it was like, I don't know, like maybe tethered on so you could like kind of fold it over on itself. Oh, I goes off camera. Sorry. Uh, if you could like tether it, fold it over, that'd be kind of cool. But it's just like loose. So you will lose that shit. Not like maybe it's like a, just a matter of when you will lose this because I'm probably going to lose it. Everybody will lose that shit. Um, overall, definitely a cool ass product. Definitely worth the money. I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say this thing was only like 20 bucks or some shit. I'll have the, the link. Uh, it's where I got it on Evike. With I'm probably wrong. It's probably like a lot more. But I want to say it was really cheap. Like considerably less than I, I'm thinking. And... um. It was definitely worth the money because I know the mount was only like 20 bucks. It wasn't very much. It was lesser, more, way less than I expected. But yeah, definitely cool. Uh, biggest gripe I have is the, is mount related, but uh, I, cause I needed to make it higher. So I got to buy like a spacer and shit. That sucks. So keep that in mind. If you do want to run this with like a raised red dot, you're not going to be able to until you get a spacer, but that's for another day. Anyway, great op, great op uh, magnifier. Definitely works. About a three power, just like it says. Uh, definitely cool. Definitely a good a good for my build. I'll bring the gun out now. I keep talking about it, so it's easy to put on. I can just line the damn thing up. I said it's easy to put on. I'm struggling. It's just because I don't know where the hole is. Twist on. Looks cool as shit. Uh, lines perfectly up with the red dot, and it, it's beautiful. It's functional and does exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm very very pleased with it and very stoked. Highly recommend this matrix uh, magnifier if you're in the market for a um, magnifier for an aim point for your toy gun. I do not know if I could even remotely recommend this um, for a real gun uh, or even a gas blowback. I don't know how it would work on there. I don't know if it would if it would knock the um, zero out of it. Probably wouldn't, but I can't say for certain because I'm only using AEGs. But uh, so your mileage may vary if that's the road you want to go. Definitely, definitely check that out, though. If you're interested in a magnifier, it is worth the price and worth the uh, cost. Um, I got it off evike.com. No, I'm not sponsored by them by any means. I spend my own money, and I just got it for them because nine times out of ten here in the U.S., they have it in stock, and that's just kind of the way it goes. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this video, and it's kind of a long one, so I'm pushing on close to nine minutes, but that's how it is. Uh, all my new subs out there, appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for subbing. And uh, you're really helping me out, helping the out, help me in the algorithm game and keeping these videos going. I'm hoping to keep the same schedule going forward um, for at least through a, a December. I should be able to keep the same momentum, and the same schedule. There's a slight chance I may have to make a scheduling change um, come January for at least a few months. I'm going to be making a transition from the military to civilian life. And that may impact my scheduling for a little while until I get settled in. But uh, we'll see. I'll address that later in either future videos or something to that effect. Anyway, as always, you guys rock. Thanks for watching. Um, get out there. Do some cool builds, man. Ukrainian soft inspired uh, MCX. Not totally done, but getting there. I'll see you in the next one. Play some airsoft because this game is fucking fun. Take care, guys.